What's up guys, I'm Shane and welcome to the fifth episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. I see Gulliver washed up again. That... that can't be good for his lungs. Tom's only announcement today is that Bonbon bon has moved in. And you may notice I'm starting off a bit later than usual. I decided to change the time so it's two hours forward from my time zone because when the game first came out, I stayed up until the shop opened for my turnip prices and everything else and... It actually changed my sleep cycle for like six months. I get home from work by six and usually try and be in bed shortly after. So this allows me to get my turn up prices and still go to bed on time. Being an adult is hard. My red roses gave me pink. Again, how? I swore it needed to be red and white, but I guess that's the genetics. And I'm starting my day catching a horned elephant. Nice. I got two more purple mums, and hopefully these can get me a green. And my black lily cloned! Uh, oh wait. I'm not seeing peacock butterflies on the side until September. There goes that excitement. Okay. Moment of truth. Does my line of trees work? Oh my god, it does! Oh, I love this so much. It just made my life so much... Why is there a coin? Where's my fifth wasp? Well, crap. I'll figure it out later. Uh, and today is the first day my friendship is high enough with Sheldon to give him a present and start working on getting his photo. Luckily, I do have one spare fossil, but I'll figure something out for the days I don't. I'm not going to bother giving Agnes a present since I've already got her photo, so she's not long for this island. No tears. I think when the time comes, I'm going to clear the spot off on Black Rock and move her there. And maybe bring back Lyman. I'm sorry, Internet. Maple is just kind of there. So I'd rather have Agnes. And I'm not really as attached as Biscuit as I thought I would be, so it'd be cool to have Lyman and Agnes, the two first members of Black Rock along with me, to still be on the island. I mean, either way, Agnes is coming with me to Black Rock. Have you seen the interior of her house? It's amazing. And like I said yesterday, I don't dive during the day, so I decided to change it up today. So... Got my eel. And after chasing this one for a bit, here's the Gigas Clam. 15,000 bell sea critter. Blathers better appreciate it. Oh, and then I'm talking to Sheldon again. He gave me an item to decorate the island. Awesome. And it's a manhole cover. Which is what Agnes gave me yesterday. And it's not even customized to be different. It's just the exact same item. All right, Sheldon, let me level with you. I kind of forget you're on this island. This probably isn't how you want me to remember you. So try harder. All right, so I'm out here foraging, you know, hitting my trees and whatnot. And uh, my sister fruit island trees all have peaches again. Uh, so I'm going to shake them down, but I'm just going to leave them here because I might start repopulating the island with nothing but peach trees with these. Or I might sell them. I I'm not sure. Also, I caught a second clam, and I'm totally keeping this one. I also racked up a bunch of miscellaneous stuff during the night. I I miss being able to sell 24-7. It's amazing how it only is around for two days, but I never remember I can't just do that. My turnip price is 57 bells, which, if this is right, guarantees me a small spike this week. The hot item is a birdbath, which they're buying for 1,800 bells, but uses most of my stone. No thanks, I'll just catch a couple man-faced stink bugs. After ordering my five items from the Nook Stop and buying out the shop, I'm about 100k short of my debt, which is doable during the evening. Also, I forgot to talk to Bon Bon and Gulliver, and I still haven't found my money spot, so cut to the afternoon when I do those things. Alright, checking my afternoon turn up prices, and it's 53, so small spike it is, with a high of about 225, which would be nice. Unfortunately, on BlackRock, I'm on a fluctuating week with a max of only 126, so I guess the second island isn't helping right now. Alright, when I went to donate to Blathers, he told me they were now accepting works of art. I'm assuming that means Red will be creeping around tomorrow, so I hope a building the Able Sisters shop by Saturday is probably dead. Alright, so I had Prof Oak put the rest of these critters in storage since she has enough room now, but I noticed this tree that I didn't label... So, either I forgot, or... yup. There's the last wasp. Ah, let's just cut this down and pretend I didn't screw it up. 
All right, I was actually about to head out and start doing some island hopping tonight, but I could hear someone singing, and sure enough, it's Sheldon. But Hopkins came up to join him. I don't know why this makes me happy, but it, it does. But I've got my 10 cherries, all my tools customized so they won't break, and I even remember to drop my slingshot. I'm hoping for Sister Fruit Island to repopulate the trees. I sold the peaches, by the way. Or I'm really hoping for Bamboo Island because the top area is barren. It's the most common island in the game, but I feel like I never see it. First island is Fidget Spinner. Cool. I did get two gold nuggets on this island, so that was pretty awesome. Island number two, Basic River and Pond Island. Okay. I mean, I caught a whale shark, but I could have caught that anywhere. Oh, and here's a Dorado on the clifftops. Okay. This island was a net positive after all. And once again, as soon as it hit 8 o'clock, it started raining. And also, look at this haul I'm coming away with from here. I'll never trash talk this island again. Island number three, and we've got Bass Island again. I went from never seeing this island before to twice in three nights. Time to catch all the arowana. Oh, no, wait. I got here before 9 o'clock, so there's still Dorados. Well, even more money. And reminder, once you get to an island, the encounter table is locked. So if I show up at 8.59, it doesn't matter if it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon the next day. If I never left this island, there's still Dorados. All right. Also, I caught a blue marlin off the pier, so pier fish are done. I don't have to worry about them anymore. But this island, it's truly broken. Having the Dorados available make them the only size 5 in the rivers because snapping turtles just take their place at 9 o'clock. Once you can tell the difference between a 4 and a 5, which, you know, over time you'll be able to do, it's pretty easy to optimize. I mean, I was okay just catching everything, but it wouldn't be that hard to fill up on only Dorado. Maybe that's something for later on if I get my 4th row. Still, I'm going home with 13 Dorado, 8 Arowana, 5 Arapaima, my Blue Marlin, a Mahi Mahi for the model, plus some iron and a gold nugget. I, I cannot wait for CJ to get here. So from three islands, I got everything here, including four gold nuggets, a bunch of expensive fish, and a couple of pieces of furniture I left behind because, I mean, Dorado was more valuable. I didn't find any fossils or DIY bottles, but I think I'll live. Also, I forgot I needed to pay off my house, so with the miscellaneous critters I caught, I managed to just barely have enough to pay off that 348k and walk into an even bigger loan. It's actually funny because I have about 400,000 worth of turnips in my house, plus probably 750,000 worth of critters in storage, yet I was struggling to come up with 96,000 today. I mean, oh well, a good turnip price and either CJ or Flick and we'll be set. But that wraps up what I'd call a pretty great day. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to hit like down below. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get it delivered directly in your inbox every single time I upload. Any thoughts, suggestions, whatever you may have, leave all that down in the comment section below. Everything you leave down there, I will always respond to, unless you are the trolliest of trolls. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Shane. I'm out.